Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is another edition of Married But Still Dating. My name is Prophet Sean Mars. I'm here with the lovely prophetess, Tor Mars. Amen. Amen, amen. <laughs> My wife, Camera, shy sometimes. But uh, she be have me doing all the talking. So ladies, if you see me doing all the talking, because she does that. Amen. <laughs> I be trying to get her to speak a lot, and, but you know, she like to play the backfield. But today we want to talk about the subject of love. Uh, last time we talked about submission and keeping it spicy, but today we want to talk about love. Amen? Man. A lot of people don't understand the essence of love and what love means to a Christian married couple. Uh, a lot of people define love by conditions. Uh, but love is not conditional when it's true love. It's an action. It's an action. It's more than just a word. It's it's a, it's an action. It's a verb. Come so on now. you know when you speak about love, you must speak about uh, an act. Come or, on now. Or some form of um, uh, action. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Uh, the Bible tells us that. There's no greater love than a man who's willing to lay down his life for a friend. So when you have your spouse, when you have your mate or your, your, your significant other, you must understand that, that your life must uh, be sacrificed for their needs. Uh, as a man, the Bible tells us that we uh, must protect our body, which is the wife. That's right. We must lay down our life for her like Christ laid down his life for the church. That's Amen. Right. Right. So uh, many men, we want submission, but we're not willing to lay down our life in love. See, women understand the languages of love. Men understand the language of respect. Uh -huh. You understand? So a man's love language may be honor. A woman's love language may be affirmations. So we must understand that there's a different love language between men and women. Man. So we must learn how to give different uh, uh, love languages to one another. Amen. Amen. So today I encourage you uh, with your spouse, uh, with your fiance to show that specific love. Ask them, what is it that makes you feel loved? Amen. Amen. Ask that question to your spouse. Ask that question to your mate. Ask them, hey, what makes you feel significant or what makes me feel significant to you? Amen. 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 So today I encourage everyone uh, to find out what is the love language of your spouse. Amen. And be willing to lay down your life for that person. Amen. Prophet. Amen. And you also, you know, you know how our husbands and, you know, or your fiance is always trying to make the wife happy ladies we need to make our husband happy too also you amen. know you know see what he likes see what he wants to um what he enjoys you know right. sometimes i always ask you like what do you want to go see honey could you always ask me honey what you want to see i want to whatever amen. make you happy but no what do you want to see what do you want to eat what do you like to do you know amen and you know to give that ch chance in sharing Right, right. You know, not always trying to please the wife, and we need, also need to please our husbands. Amen. 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 Because in society, it's a one way standard. Like, men, you must do this for the woman. You must romantic, romanticize her. You must make sure she's taken care of. There's never a flip side to what, what the man wants to do. Yeah, because Sit men. Sit down and watch a football game with him. Yeah, men have feelings too. Exactly. Oh, yeah. don't say that. Don't say they that. They have feelings too. They, they have the <laughs> same like us. They have feelings just like us because God made us in his own image amen and we have feelings just like god have feelings just like we have feelings amen amen amen, amen. well the thing is we cannot be one-sided uh we can't have one side standards uh uh you know you want to be woo you want to be romanticized you want to be uh feel love men want to feel love well, that's and appreciate right it too. and want it too and, and want it too we want to feel like we're men ladies if if, if you talk to the fool in him that's who's going to manifest. Come but if now. you talk to the king in him, that's who will manifest. Come on now. If you want your husband to do what you want him to do, learn how to stroke his ego. That's right. Learn respect how to him. respect him. Respect. Even if he's a plum fool. Let me tell you this. Talk to respect him. would turn a man on in a minute. Yes, that it would will. get attention. They don't care how you and look. And it will get you your bills paid with no hesitation. Come on now. You better say something here. <laughs> Then he'll put a ring on it, okay? Come on now, come on now. <laughs> and that's the thing, ladies. That's the thing, gentlemen. We must understand each other's love language. We must understand what makes that person uh, 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 be aroused 
to want to be with you. Uh, we must understand is that it's one thing getting a person. It's another thing keeping them. Keeping them. Come on now. So that's why the love language must be there. You must be willing to lay down your life for your significant other. You must be willing to uh, put your yes. things to the side so you may uh, 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 please that spouse or please that mate. Amen? Amen. And, and that goes for both men and women. Amen. So next time you're with your spouse, the next time you're with them, you're just having a regular day of conversation, ask them, honey, what would you like today? That's right. Uh, what would you like to do today? Amen. And, 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 and just kind of know your spouse. Men, I know you're not talkative, but we need to learn how to talk more, men. We need to express our feelings and what we like. Say, baby, look, I want you to sit down and watch a football game with me today. Say, baby, look, let's go, you know, let's go uh, hang out. And I want you to hang out with me and the fellas. You know, you want to make sure that your husband or your wife is your best friend. Your wife shouldn't have to go tell her secrets to her girlfriend. Come on now. She shouldn't have to go tell her secrets to her mother Come or her now. sisters. Because then that brings division with inside right. the family. That's right. Because people have their own burdens and opinions of yes. where our relationship yes. should go. Yes. So if you have a problem with your spouse, that should be the main person you talk to. Amen. Make them your best friend. Make them want to tell you their secrets or if they have certain issues so you two can work together. Men, you need to be more open. You need to open up more about your feelings That's and right. what you feel. Because we try to hold everything on the inside because we have to be the protector, That's the provider. Right. So sometimes we want to play Superman, but sometimes Clark can't need to talk. Amen. 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 So if we just want to give you that word of wisdom. Again, this is Prophet Sean Mars. And Prophet is Torah. And we thank you for tuning in to Married But Still Dating. Amen. Come on now. We'll see you soon. We love you guys. We love you. Bye. Bye-bye.